Hello everyone, so welcome back to the level coding. So in today's video, we are going to learn React with Superbase. So in this video, I will try to explain and show you as much as I can about the React with uh, Superbase. So if you don't know Superbase, Superbase is the, um, let's say the, the marketing team is say it's an alternative of um, Firebase. So they have a lot of feature included. So for now, we, they have like a, the, the database, authentication, storage, and also they do real time as well. And under the hood of their database, they're using Postgres and authentication right here. They, they have a multiple um, authentication as well. So you will see that in this video and we have the storage as well. So, so in this, this is going to be a series video. So this is part one where we're going to learn how to set up the uh, super base with react and also uh, we're going to do some a little bit authentication so and by the end of the series of the video we will try to build some small applications using uh, everything that super base uh, give us so stay tuned for that as well all right so let's get started all right so if you are new to the channel please consider subscribe uh, it's been a lot for me and don't, and don't forget to share this video to your friend as well and another thing I would like to mention is that if you want to support the channel, support me doing the content like this, uh, please consider donating to our Patreons, and I'm really appreciate that. All right, so enough with that. So let's start coding. All right, so the first thing first that you wanted to do, you want to create a new account uh, with Superbase. So I'm gonna click on sign in with GitHub right here. I already signed in. I, I have our existing project before as well. So as you can see right here. So by default, Superbase gives you uh, two uh, free projects. So right now I have created a new one. So in, if you haven't created a new one yet, so you can click on create right here. And right here, you can give your project name and you give this database as well. So the database name right here, uh, this database password. So right here is uh, for your database. So you fill for that. And for the reaches right here is, uh, you can choose anywhere you want, but um, if you, let's say for example, you choose this one for production, uh, you would consider um, choosing the location where uh, your customer may live. So for example, if I live in uh, Singapore, so I would pretty much choose um, this one right here for my customer and the people that I build it for right here. So it would be nice to choose this one. And first of all, I'm leave it to default and you can see that this is free. You can just uh, create a new one. So I'm not gonna create a new one since I have already before. So so please, if you, since you haven't created yet, so you can create that. So once you, you create that, you can go to the projects and you may not see something like this, but um, let's say right now we go to API. So right, uh, I think it's not API, I think go to settings. Uh, okay, and then right here, you can go to the API inside settings. So this one, as you can see, it contains all of the URLs and the public key right here. And you, you, we need uh, this one to set up uh, for the Superbase client when we install or, or need it to run in our React projects. All right. So make sure you have this one. So so that means you create the projects or uh, complete. So the next thing that we're gonna do is to create a React app. So um, I went ahead and created this before. Um, so right here I have a run um, create React app. So as you can see, uh, we can go here. This is a create React app boilerplate. And also I have installed the super base uh, clients as well. So this one. So what you can do, you can go into the NPM, you can go super base right here. It will be on the tops of this one. All right, so it's this one right here. So it also gives you the instruction on how to create the client as well. Cool, very nice. So we can copy this one. So I'm gonna copy uh, this code right here. This is allows to create the uh, super base client. So now I'm going back to VS Code. Um, right here, I have created a folder called lips and another folder called Hepper. And right here, I'm gonna create a new file called superbase, uh, superbase clients.js. And then we can paste this one right here. Very nice. So right here, so what we're gonna do is we going to paste um, all of the thing that you can see. So the first one is gonna be project URLs. So we're gonna copy this one. 
and then we're going to put replace it here but i think it's a, a good idea not to post uh put it right here it would be nice to uh, actually use it in the uh in we instead so we're not uh using since this is uh this key right here is okay to be public and as you can see right here it's okay so because it's say like public right here and then uh, it's all right to put this one as public so but we don't want to put this like in the public it's just like this we it would be nice we want to put it uh in the env files and then we later on we're going to update this one when we deploy it rather let's say for example when we share this projects we don't want to share all the env and things like that and because and then that's why we don't want to put right here so for now i have created a env file right here and um, name this one so i'm just going to paste all uh, my key right here so for this one key right here i will not add and record this one but you please uh copy this one right here and then you paste to this one okay so all right so make sure you do that all right so one more thing is that when you put an env file so make sure that you ignore the file so because when we push this one to github so we don't want to uh, expose uh, everything on the inside the github right so we want to add this one when we deploy to the let's say nullify and things like that so then we can add the environment right there so um, make sure you add this one this will ignore this file right here all right so right now we're going to go in back to the super base client right here so we're gonna we're gonna replace this one with our in we right here i'm gonna paste this one so the first one is gonna be this so we're gonna do process that in we dot this one and also with this one as well so i'm gonna do the process um okay dot env dot uh oops uh, this one okay right now we are done with this one so the next thing is we need to uh export uh, this one to so then we can be able to use it all right nice so next is we uh come to the uh, app.js so for now what i'm gonna do is i I'm going to uh, remove everything right here. I'm going to do the snippets OFC. So this snippet right here, if you haven't uh, have it yet, so you can get uh, from the ES7, I think that uh, name. Yeah, yeah, this one. So this one right here. So this is a snippet for React. And I do this one. Let's generate me this one. Nice. So now what we're going to do. Uh, so... Uh, this one is complete setup the super base to your project so the next thing i'm gonna do really basic authentications uh with githubs and then let's see how we can do that so right now what i'm gonna do is to i'm gonna create an, uh one more button right here and say logins with uh githubs and then uh, we're gonna go come back here we can see this login with githubs so we're gonna do to create a function to do that so I'm going to do logins. So you can just name this one login with GitHub as well. So we're going to call our super base and then we're going to do dot auth dot um, plugins and then with provider and then we're going to do with GitHub. So if you do it with Google, you can actually um, change this one to Google and then we're going to do with GitHub and then we're going to do do the await right here. Okay, so and then we can do uh, logins uh, this one. Okay and click and then this one nice so how do i know this uh, kind of information as you can see so you can reference to this one you can go into the super base doc reference and javascript so you go to reference right here javascript and then make sure you choose v1 and then you can go to authenticate uh auth right here they have a list of uh function that you can find so the next thing is we're gonna click right here i think this is gonna fail because right as you can see uh, we do not set up any things with github just yet so right now we're going to go back uh into our authentication um i'm not sure okay so right now we can click on this auth right here but you click go home and then click auth and hmm, then you can go to settings and then you can scroll down you can see there's a bunch of auth provider and i have enabled this one before let's enable it again so the only thing that is need is a client ID and a client secrets. And this is the URL callbacks. So where do you get this one? And where do you get this one? And so, so where do we paste this one? So for that, we need to go into your GitHub account. And so you, this one, so click on your profile. And 
Then from there, you can go to the developer settings and then you can click on the OAuth apps. So this is a lot of OAuth app that I worked before. So I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna call this one Learn Superbase and then the home page is gonna be localhost. I'm gonna do the IP right here. Description, it's just uh, same things right here. Uh, Learn Superbase and the auth callback right here. So you can see. So right now, this is where we need to copy this one and then we paste it right here. So I don't want to do this one. So I'm gonna do register application. So once you do that, you can see that we have the client ID. Uh, copy this one and then you replace with this one. And then this is a client secret. So you need to generate this. One. You can go back to your uh, super base and then you paste it right here uh, and then you can save. All right, make sure you hit save. And so when everything is complete, it's done. So you can uh, click on again, the login with OAuth again. So you can see this one and then you can click accepts and it will redirect back. So now we complete authentication. So that's it. So as you can see, that's really easy. It is to do an uh, authentication with uh, Superbase. The next thing that we wanted to do is we want to keep the user um, stay locked in. We get uh, the user, right? So to do that, it's uh, going to be really simple. So we're going to do use effects right here. So use effect right here uh, will run after our components get built. So one thing that we can do is for this one is to uh, run the, the um, get sessions. So we can do like const uh, user, uh, we can say sessions is equal to super base uh, dot boss dot sessions and then that actually console that lock the session right here that we get so right now if i do this one if i refresh um this should be uh have some session ah uh, i see so because i have to go here i guess okay here right here so right now you can see it's uh, half the session that the user and if i toggle it down and we have this user info this is uh, everything that my you my github user right so the reason that you have c2 both of this one is just because of the way the use effect works just to make sure it works and in production it will only uh, if you console the lock it will only console the lock once so right now we do have session this one will actually refresh so you can see we have this one nice so the next things that we can do is we're gonna do uh, user set user is it gonna be equal to use state and then we're gonna do nulls by default and then we can do is set user to sessions right here uh, and then we're gonna do um, user but since the user might default so we need to accept the null exception so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click uh, on this one right here so right now, and then, so I guess that's pretty much it. So right now we can have this information of the user. We can do, if there's a user, we can display this one as like authenticated uh, and else if we are not, is we are going to show this one. So right now, if I do this and it's really nice. So right now you can see uh, we are authenticated. Mm, so let's actually do it again. So very nice. So, Okay, uh, the next things that we wanted to do is to uh, do the sign out. And then we're gonna go come here and then we're gonna do the Udongs. Uh, okay, lock out. And this one, you can we can create a functions. So I would like to paint, uh, clean this one a little bit. So I like to use effects the on top and then this one the bottom and then we're going to do lock in and then this one is going to be lock out and then super base is going to be sign out and then we can clear whatever inside right here okay cool i'm going to copy this one and then i uh, add it to this one thanks so right now if i click on lock out uh, and then we are not uh, we supposed to be when we click lock out we're supposed to switch back to the um the authentic at uh, this one right but the reason that we do not switch is because if you look at the states um that we have we go to components we go to apps uh and then we look at the user we still have the information of the user 
So we need to clear out the state and then we're going to switch back. So, but if I refresh this one, see now I'm locked out, it was I'll switch uh, to this one, okay? So if I lock in again, um, and then it's going to do some page refresh. And also this time it's not even um, set up uh, switch backs to the authenticate. Why is that? Because as you can see, the state has not been updated. The reason that this happened is because um, this use effects right here run only once times when our component is is running. So at first we, so after we run it, it, it checks everything, it's render, and then we have this one uh, authenticated. So then it's not going to be updated. So we need to have something to listen whether this user, uh, whether this user is actually sign in or sign out, and then we're going to update the user uh, on that. All right. So, um, so to do that, it's going to be real simple. And this thing is similar to the um, Firebase. So what you can do, you can do superbase dot dot on state chain, and then right key you can have the event, and then you can have like a session, and then uh, but this one. So you can do the switch case, switch event, and then you can do like case. Uh, this one is going to be um, sign in. So you can do something with this one. Right now we're going to do break. Uh, there's a default right here. Make sure like it's, uh, it's just needing, it just needed a uh, default. Uh, and then we're going to do case sign out. Uh, we're going to do sign out. So we know that when we, when we do sign out, uh, we wanted to set the user to null and then when we want to uh log in so we're gonna set the user to the session right here and then we're gonna do the user but this one is can be uh null so we're gonna do the same thing and then make sure you add the break right here wait so this one uh, i think we need the break right here as well okay nice so now uh, with this set you can see it switch back right here when i click on lock out it switch back this one as well it's to update this one and another thing is since this one is a listener so we want to clear this one when our component is resolved so we want to uh, unsubscribe to it so we what we can do is going to be we can have like a data that's come from this one and then what you can do you can data dot uh, unsubscribe this one okay or you can rename this one to let's say uh, auth listener auth listener and then you can do this one as well so this arrival name is make sense for us. So yeah, so right now if we refresh, nothing happened. When we click on lock in, uh, it's re redirect back. It sets the state of the user and then we are lock in. If we refresh, we stay lock in. That is really nice. So yep, that's how you do it, guy. Okay? So that's how you use Superbase for authentications uh, in React apps. And this is a little bit messy. Um, because right now we do authentication right here it's hardly to reuse uh some of the state right here let's say for example we have a multiple route and things like that um but uh that will be the job of the next video so in the next video uh, what i'm gonna do is to um set up this uh off basically use this user right here put it in the context and then so later on we, we can reuse some of the information of this user right here so in the next video, we're going to clean this up and we build up even more. We will talk about database and a lot more with Superbase. So I'm really excited for that. And if you do, please subscribe and then you will and hit the like the no Nobel notification. So you can see me in the, in the next video. All right. So I guess this is uh, this is it for this video. I hope you like it. I hope you learn something from this one and Yep, so see you all in the next video. Peace.